Hello, and welcome back to In Stars in Time. I have been very much enjoying this playthrough, though Sif is not having a good time. Let's talk to some other people and see what their vibe is. Uh, I think we wait for Bonnie. Bell. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? So, which would you choose? Hmm? Sorry. You pointed at final paper. What? What? How? What do you know? Answer me! Use your hand in a rapier. You're choosing someone for something, right? It seems important. Maybe I can help? Hmm. Hi. I suppose you must have more experience than I do. All right. I would like your help if you give it. Experience in fighting, sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Sifrin. Oh, but um, this might take some time. So um, make sure you have time. I have time now. Oh, okay. Okay, how to do this? Sit down next to me, maybe? So now? Nah. Sit down. Because the context for all these conversations is so different than it was before. Mirabelle looks at you without saying a word. So are those papers, really? Oh. Um. Bonding proposals? You try an act surprise. No, wait, that's not exactly it. Please stop looking at me. It's more like I'm dating? Dating profiles? I'm not thinking about being bonded yet. You try not to confuse. All right, well, before this started with the king, I decided I wanted to uh, try to date someone. And so I asked the dating company, gave me a bunch of that people I could meet and that I could date. I haven't gone through it yet. So I figured I could at least get that done today. I'd look through all of them and make a list of people I could see filled dating. And I suppose I needed help? I just seem to spend the life for the rest of my life with. So I'd appreciate another pair of eyes. Or, um, just a one eye. As long as it's not two eyes looking at this. My two eyes looking at um, I also need distraction tomorrow very badly. So I figured I'd replace my anxiety about our possible sheet with, um, this? Let's have a look then. All right, I have a few profiles right here. Screws and men's folder out of her dress pocket. Here's a few of them. So, uh, we can. You can go first and tell me what you think. And I'll go after. Um, so, well, tell me what you think about him. Should we follow us from before? Meh. Yes, glad we agree. You laugh. Say the line, Sifrin. Do you have someone more feminine looking? Um, there are files. How about her? Gentle looking lady. Shrug. She shrugs back. Say the line, Sifrin. What kind of person are you into then? Oh, I don't have a type. I like all kinds of people equally. But if you had to choose, uh, um, someone nice, not, and someone pretty, you nod, a bit lighter, and someone who likes me, you don't nod, Mira. No, 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 wait, let me think a bit more. I want someone who. She thinks for an awfully long time. Well, what about you then? What person are you into, Sifrin? You act like you're thinking for a little bit, and then answer. Wait, are you just gonna copy my answers? N no! Okay, fine. You got me, Sifrin. I'm not interested in that dating stuff. So then why worry about it? You know, Sifrin, the change belief is very, very important to me. It's all around changing. Changing with a capital C. Bettering yourself. Becoming a better, different person. One of, the to try, one of the ways to change is to try new things, you know? That's part of the reason the house offers so many different classes. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm trying. I'm trying new things. And some are fun and fulfilling and easy, but you can't just go and only try new easy things, can you? Sometimes I have to try scary new things. Things that make me uncomfortable. Things I don't want to do at all. Like dating? Yes, like dating. But, but, you know, romantic love is one of the biggest ways to change. It's supposed to change you, to bring new experiences, and, and, and so, I have to do it, right? To be a good housemate, I have to do it. I have to date, I have to love someone in a romantic way, I have to do things with them. I have to have a, I have to bond with them, I have to sleep with them, to have children with them, I have to love them in this very specific way. And, and, and you don't want to. And, and I don't want to. 
I don't want to do it, Zifrin. Not at all. Dating the idea of being in a romantic relationship, of being with someone like that, I hate thinking about it. I hate the idea of it. I really do. The idea of it alone is awful for me to think about. I can't love someone like that. In the way I, sh we should, I should love them. It never happened. I don't think it ever will. And I... I need this to change, don't I? Airline Zephyrin. Well, um... Why do you need to change? Because I have to, Zephyrin. I'm a housemaiden. And I love it. And I love helping people. Getting to know them. And I love learning new things. I love it all. But, but I have to change in that way, too. I wish I could just not do it. Not be with someone that way. But Zephyrin, there is such a pressure to force us to do that. And not only that, there's such an intense pressure to force us to change. We have yearly festivals around showing yourself as a new person for crab's sake. Most housemaidens have completely changed at least once, and I haven't. Isabeau isn't even a housemaiden, and he's changed. And I haven't. And I don't... I don't want to change. I'm happy with who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with the idea of not being with anyone. I'm comfortable with the idea of staying the same forever. But we have to change to bring new things in our lives and change clothes and hairstyles and even part of our personalities to be able to a deity that, that... that I don't know if they understand sometimes. I just like to stay the same. Or maybe they do. Maybe that's why they haven't. And now I have a list of people I can meet with that I can fall in love with them, which I can't do. And to do the things with them, which I will never, ever want to do. Also, I can change. It makes me feel like a mistake. I must be broken for not being able to want these things. Because everyone else can. You wish you didn't feel these feelings sometimes. Well, I don't know about the romantic part. I don't want to do things with people either. Huh? Why not? It's weird, right? Yes. Who likes to hold your hands? You don't react. Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird. And gross. And it's awful. I don't want it at all. Oh, Sifrin. Sifrin. You mean it? You really mean it? You understand? Yeah, of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, what a relief. To have someone who understands this, at least. But it doesn't fix anything. I need to change. And dating, it's part of it, so... Mirror of all size. Zifrin, I know you don't follow the change belief, but... Do you have something like this? Something that brings you joy and community and faith? But some other parts you don't know how to follow? Some other parts you don't know what to do with? Some other parts just bring you grief? Something that brings you joy and grief? You don't think about anything. It's more complicated than that for me, but... Yeah, I have something like that. So you do, too. How... How do you deal with it, then? You don't. Let's try not to think about things that bother me in general, haha. <laughs> Avoidance, huh? That feels... a little too cowardly for me. I, I mean... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say... I try to smile. She's right. You're just a coward, doesn't want to think about anything that could hurt you. You're pathetic. What do you know about belief, anyway? What do you know about faith? You believe in something you forget about half the time. Remembering it brings you only pain and grief. The universe leads. You can only follow. Say your lines, though. Follow the blinding script. I don't know about your belief, but... You can always game the system, right? Game the system? Change things by deciding not to change? If everyone changes that way, then you'll change by not changing in that way. There's more than one way to become a better person, right? Changing... By deciding not to change? Heh. <laughs> Zephyrin. That's not how it works. But no one needs to know. Heh. <laughs> change myself. By deciding not to change. Sounds challenging and fun to me. Deciding not to change. This is just accepting you're fine with everything staying the same. But you're fine with it. Still. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It does. It does sound challenging and fun. Mirabel smiles at you friendly. Smile back. Thank you, Sifra. Thank you for talking with me. Oh! Look at the time. You probably had other things to do, didn't you? Go, go. Don't let me keep you. I need to be alone for a little bit. I have a lot to think about. I'll see you later, okay? Holy cow, shield again. You better wave goodbye to Mirabel. Ah, poor Sifrin. I'm 
Yeah, this is correct. Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Stay silent. Are you okay? You look very, very, very tired. What do you want? Those kids are like frogs! Okay. And? Uh, don't you want to play with them? No. They're babies. I have bad news. What? You are also a baby. No! I'm not a baby. I'm a preteen! You do not say a single word. Why aren't you saying anything? Why do you look so tired? Did you take a nap like you said you would? Not take a nap like you said you would? Did I say that? Yeah? Like, two hours ago, you said you would take a nap. And to come to get you if you needed something? Did you not nap? I did. Oh. Did you have a nightmare? I guess so. How can you say you guess you got a nightmare? If you had a nightmare or you didn't. Then I guess I did. Oh. What was it about? Elsa, it's better to talk about your nightmares so they're out there and not in your brain. Make something up. I've dreamt I was running in place for a very long time. That doesn't sound very scary. Something was running after me. Something... What was it? Something bad. Was it a someone or a something? Does that matter? Yeah. If it's a something, then there's nothing you can do. But if it's a someone, you could have tried talking to it. Last time you touched something that stared you, something worse than a nightmare happened. I'll try that next time. Okay. Okay! Did I help? Yeah, thanks, Bonnie. Hmm. Can I help you with anything? Help me? I don't want your help. I don't want you to help me with anything! You don't? I don't! You're stupid and you don't know me, so I don't want you to help me. I don't know you. You really don't! Not even a little bit. You don't even know my three fruits, stupid. I do. Huh? You love rice? Yeah, that's true, but... And... Pineapples. Last one is... Samosas. But... But which samosas? Yeah, I bet you didn't even know that. Which samosas are my favorite, stupid? Samosas. Well, wow, without cheese, with potatoes. Yeah. That's all my favorite foods. I mean, you remember. If you remember them all, you, you, do you pay attention to me? No, that's stupid. Of course you do. Or you else you wouldn't have. There's something you can help me with. Can you come with me? If you have time. I have time now. Okay. Then come on. So now? No. Body brought you out so dormant. You see weak sinuses roaming around in the distance. Friend, I... You said I could ask for anything, yeah? Sure, whatever you want. Okay, well... I... I need you to teach me how to fight. I know Dial's gonna say... I can help you in battle, all in battle tomorrow. But it'll be from far away, right? I wanna help. To actually help. And for that, I... I need to learn how to fight. So you're gonna help me. Let's go! Bonnie ran away. Or it's a sadness again. I'll be fine, but... I catch up to Bonnie. Look, look! I'm not scared! Come on! I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this! I can do this! Ah! You could... You could fall over now, couldn't you? Make Bonnie protect you? No. You strike. Breathe in and out. Uh, uh. You don't have to remember to yell. Be more careful, Bonnie! Uh, I... I'm sorry. You'll check every time. No visible wounds. Bonnie is trembling. I shouldn't have yelled. Breathe with me. You breathe slowly in and out. Make sure Bonnie breathes with you. You calm down, too. Slowly, they shop shaking. Huh. Hmm. That didn't go super well. It did not, no. It's your fault. You weren't there. You weren't there to help me and to tell me what to do. You stare at them without saying anything. I mean... I... I'm sorry. Teach you, but don't go ahead on your own. Okay. 
I'm sorry. I'll listen. Tell me how to fight. I want to learn. You look around. There's another sadness in the distance. You put your index finger in front of your mouth to help Bionic stay silent, point towards the sadness. Bionic looks over and nods. You jump in. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yes. What do I do? Read out. Tell Bonnie, look at the status of hands. That's a scissor sign, right? So, so that means the run with the rock craft. Yeah, I know rock craft. So I can hit them, right? You not. Okay. Okay. Here I go. You take an attacking stance. Bonnie follows suit. you. What? Um, Dial and Z Zon Bell said we're not allowed to touch you because it makes you jump and because they said so. Is it true that you jump? But I was wondering why, because it means we can't high-five or anything. Why? Of course they're friends. They're fragile. They come with instructions. I don't mind being touched or hugged. I'm just not used to it. You're not used to it? Oh! Maybe it's because you're not ready for it when it happens. That hill, that's how it is with Nilly. Follow the script. Nilly? My sister! Her name's Petronil, but it's dumb. So I call her Nilly. She doesn't like it when people touch her, and she's not ready for it. Nilly's really cool and tough, but she gets scared easily, I think. One day I touched her shoulder, and she didn't know I was there, and she screamed really loud. Like, Aah! Then she said I shouldn't do it again, because when she's scared, she's scared brain takes over. She might want so she might suplex me without meaning to, which sounds really cool, but she said she doesn't want to suplex me because she doesn't want to hurt me. She did suplex on a dude who scared her one stuff. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch her if she doesn't know I'm there. And I always try to walk real loud so she hears me coming. That's why my shoes are big, see? I'm gonna punch the boots, makes sense. You know. Heh heh. Heh. I don't wanna talk about my sister anymore. You don't have to talk about her. She's frozen in time and she's not here, so I don't wanna talk about her. Just talking behind people's backs is bad, and also talking about her hurts and makes me sad. I want Nilly to be here. I should have helped her when. Why aren't you used to being touched? Did your family not hug you when you were a kid? You want to cry. I can't remember. Oh. But maybe that's why. I'm just not used to it, I think. And it takes me off guard, I think. Oh, okay. So if you can see me, and if I tell you I'm going to touch you, it's fine. You'll get used to it, right? Sure. Huh. Okay. I'll remember that. So, then... I am going to touch you now! Suddenly, Bonnie pokes you hard in the stomach. You barely react. You saw me and I told you so it's fine. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's fight one more sadness. I can do one more. It's about a sadness in the distance and attack. Okay! I can do this! Watch me, friend! I joined Bonnie. You and the sadness exchange blows. I think you have the timing figured out. Now. You fell over. Friend! Sadness noticed you. No! Not this time! Okay, Bonbon, bon, I just tripped. Really? You promise? You nod. Okay. Hi. You haven't called me Bonbon bon in forever. Only Zah calls me that now. Bonnie. No, no, I, I didn't mean... You promise you're okay? Okay. Sorry. I got scared. It's just... It reminded me of before, that's all. Before? Yeah, you remember, right? It was a while back, when you protected me from that other sadness, you know? You remember now. So I follow the script. Which one? 
Which one? The one that got your eye, stupid! Ugh! Oh, crab, you stupid crabbing. See, I told you. I knew it. You're so crabbing stupid. You didn't even remember it. You think it doesn't matter. You keep getting hurt because of me and you don't care. You can't see from one eye because of me and you think it doesn't crabbing matter. You would do it again. Why did you do it, friend? Why'd you do it? Why didn't... Why did you protect me? I don't understand. You could have stayed put. I could have... I could have taken care of it. I was fine. But no, friend thinks they're better than everyone else. You try to protect me like a stupid crabbing idiot. And you got hurt. Because of me. Because of me, you can't see from one eye. You have a big scar. You bump into things all the time. You trip all the time. You can't... You can't see because of me. Because of me! You would do it again. It's not that big of a deal, though. But it is! It really is. You got hurt because of me and... And I don't like it. I don't want it to have happened. You should have stood there and let me be hurt. But you would have died. Doesn't matter. If I died, it would have been fine. It would never have been fine. Could have ne never let that sadness hurt you. I know you don't like it when we say that you're a child, but you are. And as adults, it's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. Did you want us to go to your sister and tell her, sorry, we didn't jump to save them, so they're gone now? You'll always be more important than any of us. No matter what, we'll always make sure you live. And I'll always pick you over a blinding, stupid eye. But, friend, I don't... I don't want you to be hurt. I don't want you to be hurt. And you don't want them to be hurt either. Even now you see it. The king. Holding Bonnie in their hand. Holding, holding, squeezing. It's because you try to change it. Change fate. You try to find another way. Because you tried something new. Bonnie. Bonnie! Take a heavy, heaving breath. You try to breathe slowly in and out. What was... What do you have to say? What's your line? Oh, yeah. You're stronger now, Bonnie. I can protect you, and I can make sure I don't get hurt either. You promise? You promise you won't get hurt again? I promise. You super promise? Super promise. You super duper promise? Super duper promise. Okay. Okay! As long as you promise, it's fine. And, and... Oh! And anyway, I protected you just now, right? If it wasn't for me, you'd have been hurt. So, you can protect me and I can protect you. We can protect everyone, too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you see me, right? I'm gonna touch you now. Bonnie runs to your side. They hug you tightly. Remember to move. You hug them back tightly, tightly, tightly. Eh. See, you do know how to hug. Looks like I do, yeah. <laughs> your kid learned the skills billion blow technique again. Okay! Let's go back to dormant. I gotta show everyone how cool I am now! You nod. Punch your fists. Let's make your hands stop shaking. You both head back to dormant. Yeah! Okay. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. I'm sitting next to you. walking in. Yes, I know. Just walking in. I'm very intuitive. Thank you for teaching me. Oh, you're so sweet. That's no problem at all, sweetie. Horrifying, isn't it? Really fast change. Works in several shapes. He waits inside, which in turn control on the map. Pay for your mouth. Enough of this video. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Alright. Hey again, Sif. What's up? Hey, I finished helping everyone. Huh? Oh, that's cool. I didn't see you running around with everyone earlier. It looked like fun. Oh, that's right. You didn't ask me if you need any help with this loop. Well, so do you need any help with anything? Help? Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I do need help with something now that I'm thinking about it. Is that what you're doing today? Helping everyone out? I didn't know. I kept the best one for last. Aw, Sif! Uh, I'm glad. Just thinking I wanted to hang out with you today. I saw you running around with everyone. But you didn't talk to me much today, so I was um, worried you... 
didn't want to. It doesn't matter. I'm glad I thought about what we could do today, then. Uh, are you ready now? Probably have to go to the clock tower meeting after done, so I don't think I'll have time to do anything in the village after. So I want to shoot everything you need to do? You know what's up now? I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Okay. Well, um, follow me, Seth. So now? Now. That leads the way. Field again. I spent some time looking for a good spot to see the stars. Your throat tightens. So what do you need me to do? Huh? Oh, um... Lie down with me? You lay down. And then? And then... Look up! You look up. Stars, stars, stars. All around you. You want to crush them all. You know, when you asked me if you needed help earlier, I wasn't sure what to say. I don't really need help with anything. And I did all I needed to prepare for tomorrow and stuff. But I saw you run around and help everyone today and it seemed kind of fun. So I thought, it's just making sure to help everyone today. But I just wanted to hang out with him. And so, um, that's it. That's all I wanted you to do today. Let's just hang. Say the line. Why stars? Oh. Oh, so you know how you say this word when you're annoyed by something bad happens? I don't know what language it is, but I always thought it sounded like a swear word. Like, crab? Looked at a few books, couldn't find the word anywhere, I got really curious. One day, I heard someone else say it. So I asked them, and they said it means stars. And let's see, you know stuff about the sky. You talked about planets once in the sun. Like, you really know what you're talking about. And sometimes, when we slept outside, you'd spend most of the night looking at the night sky. Well, that was interesting, because I never thought much ab about what's up there before. But, uh, so I thought maybe I'm like, you'd like to see the stars? Together? Or just in general? Stars won't listen. You can't say anything now, even if you want to. Oh no, was I wrong? It was really more of an actual swear word like crab, where you don't actually like stars, and stars are bad and gross. Did I step in it? Did I mess up? No, you didn't step in it. Oh, phew. I got scared. I have heard some people since see stuff in the stars sometimes, like pictures. They're called. Counts to something? Constellations. Constellations! Yes, that! Do you know some? We've got the stars. Forgotten them all. No, I don't know any. Huh. You're saying they didn't step in it, but... Sif. Change the subject. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Tell me something. Something? Something about you. Oh, okay. Um. Well, okay, you know I'm from Joven, right? I've lived there my whole life. It's a nice, big city. More than one house, too. Way bigger than Dormant. Big enough that you don't know the life story of every person you see. <laughs> anyway, you might think it's surprising, I don't know. When I was Bonnie's age, I was like, the smartest smarty pants around. Not like, slightly smart or anything, but like, the nerdiest kid you can imagine. Eh, <sighs> like, really imagine it. Big glasses, super neat braids, always knowing the answer to any question the teacher has. Always getting perfect grades. Always too shy and focused on grades to know how to make a friend in the playground. That was me, and uh, I didn't really like myself, because, like, I was smart, but I really hated being shy. Being alone, not even able to ask a classmate for a pen, because I was so paralyzed by fear. And I was ready to spend the rest of my life like this. But one day, after years of living like this, I looked at myself the way I was and the way I existed in this world. I looked at that kid in the mirror, and I thought, is this it? Is this really who I want to be? Could I just be someone else? Someone that can make friends? Someone that people could love? Someone I could love? Someone who I wouldn't feel ashamed to be? Couldn't I just change? And that's one of the things people go to houses for, you know? To learn things, to train, to do body crafting yourself, to change. When you stay for a bit and come back changed, no one will say a thing. They just accept the new person you become. So I went to Jovan's houses and threw myself into it, trying to be the coolest, strongest, most dependable person around. Lifting weights, training my voice to be deeper, louder. Crafting my own body to be cooler, stronger. Looking myself in the mirror every morning and yelling, I'm the coolest. Change is destruction. You know, they bring about change, and you know what? You might hurt people. You might hurt yourself, even. So you always have to be careful and think about whether destruction, the destruction you bring, is worth it. I decided it was. So, the person I was before, I made them disappear. Killed them with my bare hands. Made sure they never ever come back. So I could live. Ah, it sounds bad when I say it like that. The kid I was before is still here, I just, hmm, 
to around them, to protect them. Building an armor until it becomes the real thing. So it could become strong, someone strong, someone outgoing. Someone comforting to be around. Someone I would have liked to know before. Meh. That doesn't matter that much. I'm here. That's what I mean. And I love myself so much more than I did before. But even the person I am now is a work in progress. I want to change, still. To become a big, strong, pretendable, happy-go-looking dude, because that's who I need to be. But lately, I've been feeling like I need to let down the airhead facade a bit. Act less stupid, that sort of stuff. It doesn't feel great when people think I'm stupid, just because I act a certain way. So I might change again soon. Become someone slightly new. That sounds cool, right? You're not the only one acting in this play, are you? Hey. I might change to be a mix between a jack and a nerd. Balancing it out, you know? So you'll change into a knock? More like a jerk. Sounds better, doesn't it? Better mouthfeel. They both sound bad, is it? <laughs> no, don't say that. <sighs> you can be a buff nerd. Oh. You think I'm buff? You do not avert your gaze. There's a silence. Huh. You both blank. Anyway, after we beat the king tomorrow, we'll go our separate ways, so I'll just change it to someone else. Someone who can be both strong and smart. Both at once. What a concept. Doesn't that sound like something cool? Doesn't that feel like someone you couldn't feel ashamed of knowing? Isabel. You want to tell him. You want to tell him that he brought laughter into your life before all this. That you learned puns and jokes to make him laugh. You didn't know how to describe yourself. You didn't know who you even were. So you said a bad pun one pun once, and he laughed so hard you thought he was gonna pass out. That even now you wouldn't trade this half life for anything else. You want to hold his hand. You grip the grass under your palm. Issa. Yes, if I've never felt ashamed of knowing you. Not even a little bit. Hey, you're gonna make me blush, Sith. And well, you know I feel the same, right? You're like, maybe the coolest person I know. You know that, right? I really like spending time with you. I mean, yeah, I, I always discover new things, like cool theater stuff, or even just something new about you. And I like how you always have a bad, have a pun ready for any situation, how you breathe in a specific way sometimes, and how I, and I wish I could breathe with you to make you feel better. I like the way your face looks when you eat your favorite foods. I want to know more about you, talk with you more, laugh with you more, and, and I, you hold your breath. I, whoa, is that a shooting star? Hey, look up. Isn't it cool? You want to keep looking at him, but that's not what the script demands. Pulling your gaze away, you look up at the starry sky. You haven't seen a shooting star in years. Aha! See, I told you they'd be here! You heard Issa mumble about him to himself about it earlier, more like. Hi, Sifrin. Hi, Isabel. We figured you'd be here. Can we join you? Everyone is here! Good to see you, everyone. Such a beautiful night. Was your idea to come here, Isabel? It was. Under the stars, huh? How romantic. Very well done, Isabel. What? No, it wasn't romantic at all. Just pals out here. My buddies hang out. I, uh, of course, would bring anyone of you out here. Uh-huh. I brought our food! So we can eat here. A nightly picnic. Ah, I can smell samosas. Yummy. Yeah, I made a lot. Friend, take one. Take two, even. You deserve it. Sifrin sure worked him hard to Sifrin sure worked hard today, didn't they? Thank you for your help earlier. You look for your samosa. Yes, thank you, Sifrin. You had a great help today. Friend taught me how to fight. We will help you tomorrow. Ooh. I'm looking forward to it, Bonnie. Zod, did Friend help you out today too? You look at this about already looking at you smiling. <laughs> of course Sift helped me today. Thank you for spending time with me, Sift. Smile back. How wonderful. Thank you, oh great helper. Here, have another samosa. Have some pate and bread. I'm sure you want some tea, too. Here's some of my curry. The food even starts to sway. You eat everything on your plate. None of it fills your stomach. Oh! You burn. Ew! 
<laughs> nice reflexes, Sifrin. Everyone starts laughing happily. You laugh. Because the script demands this one. You're disgusting, Sifrin. Look at you. Going through the motions, making sure they like you. Making sure they love you. You don't care about them anymore, do you? So just characters on a play to you now. You're perfect, perfect play. Are you enjoying yourself? Now that you know the exact steps you have to take to be loved by them. Friend, you okay? How much snacks? You smile. Yes, please. I eat. Eat as much as you want. You ate late and laughed under the stars. Tomorrow, once again, you'll go in the house and fight the king. But today. But at least you're here. Look at them. Characters from the play they may be, but they're here. You know every single one of their lines at this point. They're here. It's almost reassuring to know exactly how they'll react. It's not tiring or frightening at all. At least they're not leaving you behind. They're here. They're here, 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 they're here. But you don't know how much longer it'll the longer it'll be enough for you. Come on, bud. We're almost at the last mile. We are not. The house is gate. Clench your tightly between your hands. House is gate, huh? Bigger than they thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. The whole ad this whole adventure. This whole journey. After all this time, I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, then. We will win again. Breathe in and out. Sadness. Just been crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, um... I'm overwhelmed. Come on. We've seen tons of this already. Don't worry, Belle. We take care of it, no problem. Okay, but... Here again. Stay silent and skip. I am um, sorry. I'll be okay. Let's go, everyone. Monster time. Ha <laughs> Just attack. That's new. Uh, I'm going to actually mix it up with a uh, turn it up on. Oh, does not typically execute these things. You may fire when ready. Holy care shear, baby! Hit him with it. And now. We did it! Sweet Mira, it wasn't that bad. Go into the house and be a piece of cake. Take the lead. Severin is way too down on themselves. But I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.